In this video, I'm going to be reviewing math.ai. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. The reason you're watching this video is probably you're wondering, is math AI worth it? Or simply put, is text to speech really worth the hype? And I have to say, yes, it is. Because if you're creating content and you want to scale your content, then including some of these AI powered tools can speed up your process, get you better results, in a shorter time and save you money. So if that is something that you're interested in, kindly watch this video. And if you'd like to get math.ai, use the link below in the description. Now, math is a text to speech or AI voice generator. And clearly it gives you studio quality voices in a couple of minutes. Now, probably one of the reasons why you may need to consider math.ai is because getting a voiceover artist is expensive. For example, if I go to voices.com and check on the pricing, if you're looking to do an explainer video and a voice actor that you're looking for is for an explainer video, that is about a minute of video in length or audio in length, it's going to cost you about $100 to 499 USD. Now, take it from me. There are scenarios where you need a real human, but probably once you listen to the voices available in math.ai, you probably think that, hey, the project that you have for an explainer video might benefit from using a text-to-speech or AI voice generator like math.ai. So uh, let's begin with the nitty-gritty, the pricing of math.ai, and you can check it out. And there are a couple of options. If you use the yearly plan, you save 33%. If you go for the monthly, everything goes up, but the yearly plan would be the most recommended. So for example, you can create account and a free account from the link in the description below. And this is what you get. Uh, you can try all the 120 voices plus 10 minutes of voice generation, 10 minutes of transcription. You can share link for audio and video output, no downloads, single user, no credit card required. So it's free to test out. And I believe 10 minutes is enough to test out a couple of voices uh, that you're looking forward to before you make a purchase decision. Now, the basic, this is for individuals. If you go for the yearly plan, it gives you at a rate of $13 per month and a yearly uh, a total of about $156 per month per year. This is a good deal, I believe. You get unlimited downloads, 24 hours of voice generation per year, access to 60 voices, 10 languages, commercial usage rights, chat and email support, single user. Now, the commercial usage rights is really good, especially because you can now upload your content on YouTube, monetize it, etc. Text-to-speech videos can be monetized on YouTube. So let that not be an issue for you using or thinking that uh, YouTube is going to demonetize your videos. The only thing YouTube requires is that your content is original. Now, the most popular plan is the Pro the professionals plan. It's about $26 per month when you choose the yearly and about $312 per year. What comes with this is that you get unlimited downloads, same as the basic, but now you get 96 hours of voice generation per year, 48 hours of transcription per year, access 120 plus voices in 20 plus languages and counting, commercial user rights, recorded voice editing, voice changer, up to three users and priority support. Now, that's really awesome. And if you're a big company, you can also go for the enterprise uh, version and this include teams. If you're working with teams, then this would be important. And this goes for about $167 per month and about $1,999 per year onwards. So it really depends and you can see what's available. It's five plus users, unlimited voice generation time, unlimited transcription time, custom voices, single sign-in, collaboration and access control, dedicated account representative, centralized invoicing, service agreement, deletion recovery, unlimited storage. Really a ton of options. I'd probably go for this one because this one is what most people will probably use. But when you count this, let's say you're counting $25, uh, $26 or let's say $312 per year and you compare with a professional voiceover that is a human, you see that you're going to save money. And once you listen to the voices, you'll probably be shocked by how they sound. So let's go back and see 
what's uh, inside here and I'll just do a quick overview so once you go to math.ai or the link below in the description you're going to come here and you'll find that math is winning awards so it's been a leader in the fall of 2022 as the best text-to-speech uh, software really really awesome and obviously there's a voice for every need creative corporate entertainment uh, you can check out product developer educator marketer author corporate coach podcaster animator custom support customer support so if we scroll down slightly uh, you'll see about uh, a couple of options the ai voices you can now control how your voiceover sounds uh, inside math you can uh, control the speed the pitch you can insert poses you can even tweak the pronunciations adc really really awesome uh, you can also time everything correctly create videos it's something that you might need to try out uh, so that you can actually get the feel so a vast library of voices 120 plus text-to-speech voices in 20 plus languages you can add video music or images uh, to actually make a video right inside math uh, ai studio and then you can change uh, the pitch emphasis speed interjections really really uh, awesome uh, so we keep going and then you can also convert your own voiceover recordings let's assume you don't want people to know you're the person doing the uh, particular voiceovers then you can use this particular option to convert your recordings into voiceovers uh, that are text-to-speech generated inside MAF and you can also collaborate etc and so on and so forth so uh, these are just samples of what you can do just to give you a quick uh, like boost or creativity uh, to see what you can actually create uh, using MAF AI including podcasts and all that so it's really really awesome and you can read all that you want to read but let's go into the studio so that I can show you how to use math.ai to convert text to speech so uh, from here you'll see the math studio you have your projects templates your account and then this is the home page you'll see the allocation of time that you've got etc speech used uh, for 490 minutes transcription used 3 of 240 minutes space used uh, or 40 GB you can check out the resources etc but what we want to do is create a new project let's click on that and once you click a new project then you get this particular option you can choose a project title let's call it our call mine canva uh, and then we've got audio option where you can start a blank project e-learning module audio ad ivr system audiobook public announcement podcast personal listening presentation article and blog as for the video we have the start blank e-learning video training video explainer video product demo motivational video entertainment video social media video games and video ad let's assume we want to create an audio file so i'll click on start blank and then click on create project and once I do that, we're going to get into the projects page where we can begin importing all the files that we want. Now, this is uh, your page. You get your title up here and you can always change it uh, to whatever you want. You'll see that you currently have edit access to this project. So if you're collaborating, you'll know who has edit access or not. You can export, you can share ATC. But to your extreme left, you can explore the AI voices by clicking on this particular tab. And you'll see a bunch of voices that are available right inside here from the left you can see uh, uh, the different versions english usa and canada english uk and so on and so forth so if you scroll down you'll see all the languages available at the time of recording this video next up you can choose a male or female and then you can select the age group young middle-aged kid atc so really really good and you can also see the use cases advertisements audiobooks, e-learning and presentation, explainer videos, games, IVR, L&D, meditation, podcast and audio blogs, product demos, YouTube. So it's versatile in what you can use it for. Next up, you have the option to import a script, add media and also the voice changer. Now, let's import a script. Click on that. As for importing a script, you can import a script in three uh, formats. That is a text file, a Word document or an SRT subtitle file. Now I'll click on select a file, click on that, and navigate to the folder with the file that I want. So I'll just click on that particular folder, click on this particular 
a file that is a text file click on open it's going to upload uh, right inside here upload complete and then you can select an import preference importing this particular document you can split script by paragraphs click like that or you can also say don't split sentences so that you have uh, like a combined you can undo that but you can also say split script by sentences probably you've already prepared your script based on the way you want your content to change let's say you're creating a video so you already know what type of graphic or what type of video is going in a particular uh, place so let's say we go with split script by sentences uh, so this is recommended for video scripts dialogues and short scripts and this one is recommended for e-learning modules audiobooks podcasts and other long scripts so uh, let's click on import script so it's available for us and you can already see by default we have an ai voice ready for us net is available for us to use and these are in english us and canada uh, for you to use so i can click on it uh, and you can see that now the languages are available right inside here so what you can do is you can play hi i'm nate I'm one of the friendly and relatable American voices in Murph. I'm also quite versatile. If you need a smooth and professional voice, I could do that too. To help you customize my voice to your needs, I support speed, pitch, and emphasis variation features. So as you hear, that voice is really, really good. So let's say we want to use this particular voice, and that's good everything is okay so what we can do is we can generate this particular audio for this particular text so let's click on this generate audio let's give it a couple of seconds and it's done and we can play this to hear how nate sounds with our text or our script can you edit a pdf file in canva really really awesome probably you would not believe that that is text to speech so what we can do is that we are not going to change anything else here. All we need to do is just click on the play button right here so that we can generate the voices for all the different sections available. As you actually make sure that everything looks as you want it to uh, look like. Just keep going. And everything looks really, really good. So you can just keep going. And we're almost done generating the voices for this. We're right about somewhere there. We're almost done uh, with this particular script, uh, converting it to audio. So I'm already done uh, generating the audio for this. So you can actually just scroll back up and uh, you'll see that now the play button has uh, a shade inside it. So you can just scroll up to see if everything is as it is. Now that looks really, really good. And just keep scrolling up until you get to the top and you'll see that uh, now that we're almost at the top you'll see that all the files uh, we've generated audio for all the files so what we can do now is we can play this particular uh, file so let's play it's going to build a preview so this also uh, is influenced by how long your file is going to be uh, but you can also expand the timeline right here and see how the different versions look like so this is going to be a five minute file uh, since this is going to be probably like a tutorial then uh, let's listen through can you edit a pdf file in canva the simple answer is yes and this is why if a pdf is editable you can edit it inside canva but if it is not then that means that the owner of the pdf file has restricted editing or manipulation of that particular pdf file so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily edit a PDF file using Canva for free. Now, that's really, really awesome. Just from my script to a voiceover. So uh, I feel that if you're actually looking for a quick solution without breaking the bank, using AI voice generated uh, text to speech kind of applications is the way to go. And I'd really recommend math. Now, let's assume you're done creating your voiceover. All you need to do is click on export and then from this section because we're dealing with uh, audio only you can select voice only and single file but you can also export by split by uh, split by blocks split by sub blocks 
The format can be MP3, WAV, or FLAC. Then the quality can be low, medium, high, and then the channel can be stereo, mono. So let's click on download. They're preparing our files for download. Let's just give it like one or two seconds here. So it's done processing. Uh, but simply put, if you're looking to create or convert your text files to speech quick, Mafia is what I recommend. Let's download and then listen through uh, to this particular audio on the computer and probably we just want to confirm what we've already had. So let's open. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? The simple answer is yes. And this is why. If a PDF is editable, you can edit it inside Canva. I don't need to continue uh, showcasing what you can do or the quality of that audio. It's clear for you to listen that that audio is really, really good. So you can keep uh, tweaking that and if you're creating videos or audio files with scenarios, let's say you wanted to create a podcast with like a conversation, you can always change. Uh, like, uh, let's say you, you go with uh, something uh, like another speaker here and then you can generate this. Let's just give it a second and it's going to be done. So we can play. And this is why. So really really good so you can actually uh just play let's move the playhead somewhere here it's going to build a preview for us uh just give it a couple of seconds uh because we added something new obviously it has to create a preview so that it can incorporate what we just did here uh so let's play can you edit a pdf file in canva the simple answer is yes and this is why if a so sounds really good. If you wanted to create a couple of scenarios, maybe a back and forth in a podcast, you can do that. Uh, simply put, that's math.ai. Uh, this awesome uh, AI voice generator that you can use to quickly convert your text files to speech, creating awesome sounding human-like voiceovers in minutes without breaking the bank. So I've walked you through everything you need to know the pricing, the type of content you're going to create, and so on and so forth. It's up to you. Go try it out, see if it works out for you, and kindly use the link in the description below to sign up for math.ai. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.